Hello everyone, this is Anna from Our Paper Paradise and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful ornament. As usual, uh, all the materials I'm going to be using, uh, the dimensions, all that stuff will be in the description. So if you want to know how to replicate this, just go in there. And let's get to work. So as you can see here, this little ornament starts with a circle. And we, I'm going to teach you how to do that first. I'm just using an old uh, packing tape roll. It still has some packing tape on it so that the strips don't uh, glue to it. But this is my template for the big circles. And I take one of the strips, I bring it around, I do hope this is in focus because it's going to be interesting, put a little bit, bit of glue on each side there and then just bring it together trying to align the edges as best I can. doesn't always work but you can always adjust a little bit while it's still drying. Alright, so one strip down and then I do three more strips. So each um, ring has four strips total and I just start right where the, the other strip ended. I put some glue there Bring this one in, always make sure it's aligned, I just use my fingernails for that. Then I flip it over, put a string of glue all the way, and wrap it. I'm using my fingers to keep it straight and pushing down at the same time so it adheres. And repeat this process. Make sure everything is glued down, you can slide it off and you have a perfect ring. Once you have the base of your ornament made, you're going to set it aside and we're going to start working on the center flower. For this, we are going to take two red strips. We will place a dab of glue at the end there and we will glue two strips end to end. We want to make sure it's aligned and straight. Let it dry. We're going to repeat for all the strips. The goal is to have six long strips.
we're gonna let these dry and we're gonna start working on the little green strips for these guys we are going to be making the leaf, sh leaf shapes out of them we're gonna start by sliding the strip into the quilling tool bringing it all the way to the end and we'll start rolling Once you reach the end, we're going to grab our uh, small template and we're going to put it against the strip we just curled and let it expand until it reaches the same size. Pull a little top, put some glue on there and hold. We're repeating this with all three green strips. When we're done with those, we're gonna go back to our red strips and we're going to soften that this edge where there's an overlap of strips just so they curl more perfectly and i'm just using my nails to press on it and soften that overlap Once they're all done, we're going to curl them just like we curled the small ones. And this time we're going to use the big template to use as a size guide. Same process though. Now that we've done with the shapes, we are going to turn them into this eye shape we have here. And the process is the same for all of them. So um, once you have this, you notice how the coils kind of packed on outside of the, the shape. We are going to hold the center and rotate it a little bit. What we are aiming for is a more even distribution of the coils before we shape it. There we are. Now we hold the center, pull it to one side and pinch the other side. I always try to put the seam of the paper in one of the edges here. Now we hold the center, move it to the other side and pinch. So we have opposite sides pinched and we're going to repeat this with all of these shapes. All right, now that we have all the shapes done, we are going to start to assemble our flower. For this, we are going to use a cardboard, this grid pattern, and pins. This is very useful because it will help us 
place all the shapes where they should be. To start, I'm just going to put one of these guys right near the center. I'm going to use the red lines as a guide to frame them and they will be lined up with the dotted line. By the way, this grid is um, from Paper Zen and the link to where you can get it is in the description. I just print it out, put some um, packing tape over it so things don't stick and there I have it. Now I'm going to put a bit of glue along the side like that. I'm going to bring another one of these in. Put a pin right there and another at the edge. I'm just going to continue doing this all around. And if you feel like they're too uh, chubby to fit in where they need to be, you can always pinch them a little more. If they're too pinched, you can always push them the opposite way to make them a little more round. We want to bring these in as close to the center as possible since we will have beads on top of them and we don't, have, don't want a big gapping hole in the center there. I'm always pressing them down to make sure they're all leveled as I glue them. Now we take these guys and we're going to place them between the petals, alternating one width, one without, one width, one without. So to do that, I'm just going to place a little bit of glue on each side and then just slide them in gently and that should be enough. You don't probably don't need pins for that but if you feel like you need them use them and that is the point that yeah it's that easy now we're going to work on the circle around it. For that we are going to bring in our outline and we are going to try and center it as best we can. I'm going to put a pin on each cardinal direction just make sure you're not um, forming the circle as you are pinning down. We just want it secured but not deformed. All right, that should secure it and it's more or less mm, more or less uh, equally distant from the flower. Now what we're going to do is make the filling that goes around that circle. For that we're going to need a white strip. We are going to slide it into the quilling tool but this time we're going to leave about a finger length distance from the top. We're going to start curling upward 
towards the edge there. And we're gonna do one, two, three curls. Once we reach that, take the tool out, bring it down about another finger length, go again, one, two, three. We're making small little curls. Down again, one, two, three. We don't want to go into this one because they all start uncurling, so once you reach three, just stick it out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And if you have a little tab like that in the end, you can snip it. You should have about six of these guys per strip. I usually, when I'm dealing with, with uh, designs like this, I usually cut them down like, like that. So I have three. It's easier to fill in the shapes if they're in smaller portions. I already made a bunch of these, so I'm just gonna start putting them in where they should go. And for this, what we're, start, we're gonna start with is we're gonna put a line of glue against the inside of this circle. And I'm gonna start with just a quarter of the circle, and I'm gonna start bringing those in and putting them against the circle. And I just hold them in place long enough for them to stick. You'll see that they're fairly squishable, so you want to be gentle with your manipulation of them. You might reach a point where you only need two of these instead of three. You can always snip and use that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there. First layer is done. We are just going to continue to put some glue on there and fill the spaces with little coils. That's all we're doing. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. There we have it. Our ornament is pretty much done. So what we're going to do next while this outside layer dries is we're going to place our fingers over the piece and we're going to pull out the center pins. And now we can glue down our beads. For that we're going to use E6000 and tweezers. Please do this in a ventilated area because this glue is stinky.
and I put the beads on their sides so the little hole is hidden. There you have it. We'll let that dry and then we have a poinsettia ornament that you can glue on a card or hang on the tree. You just slip a little ribbon through one of these little curly cues and your ornament is ready. That's all for today. If you like this tutorial, please consider subscribing and giving it a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye!